Hello, my beautiful souls, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your daily tarot reading for Tuesday, the 1st of March, 2022, as we begin the new month. Thank you so much for joining me. And I do want to remind you, as always, this is general for the day for all 12 signs, the collective. So just take what resonates and don't stress over what doesn't. I do want to thank you in advance for your likes, comments, and subscriptions if you haven't done so already. The message I received for us uh, for this upcoming Tuesday, beginning again, beginning again. Beautiful. I just heard depleted but confident, depleted but confident. We're going to begin by pulling one oracle card for each quarter of, quarter of the day, excuse me, from the Sacred Forest Oracle deck. New and improved is what I'm just getting now. New and improved. From my beautiful collective for this upcoming Tuesday. What else we have for Tuesday? Okay, bear with me. I'm going to shuffle for the next one. I'm going to go with this. <laughs> bear with me as I put them in the right spot. I'm going to shift these on over so they're closer to you. And for the last quarter. Okay, perfect. Bear with me. They're saying now we're swapping things around. We are swapping things around to embrace the beginning of this new chapter, this new month. Um, an underlining focus on being protected with refuge, as well as it feeling like a bit of a magical day. Certain experiences, certain occurrences that are just eye-opening or just um, pushing us to each individually take a second look. Um, gaining new knowledge for one reason or another. Okay. We're going to pull from the small everyday tarot to further clarify each part of the day. But for the beginning, the first quarter, we have truth. Starting off the month, the beginning of this Tuesday, embracing the truth of what we went through or of where we're at, what we truly desire moving forward potentially with the Four of Cups, um, needing to be honest with oneself as to what isn't right for you. You could just wake up to begin this Tuesday and not be in the mood. And that's totally okay, but it just feels like there is a lot that you need to accomplish throughout this day or uh, should be. So don't let that hinder or hold you back for the entire day, okay? With the Three of Cups coming out as well, um, it's step by step. You're going to find things falling into place moving forward. Um, and you're reminded of that in the beginning. You may have a dream you have to uh, re-examine, whether it was from the previous nights or just from the night um, previous to this day. But I feel like there's a lot to celebrate and you're being reminded of just that. You could wake up with a little bit of anxiety, I'm not going to lie. And don't let that um, affect your entire day or set the tone for it. But just allow yourself to take a deep breath and recognize you've been going through a lot, okay? And there's a lot of celebration on the horizon, but it's partially going to come from you recognizing what and who's not right for you as you have been in the recent, I feel like, couple days or weeks. And allow yourself to recognize that the beginning of this month is a passionate, fresh start and should be viewed and embraced in that way. Okay, and don't let anybody or anything hold you back from experiencing it to its fullest or in the way you desire because I feel like there is going to be a level of peace even though things I feel like will start to pick up moving forward for each of us but there's an elegance about you in this first quarter I feel like more towards the end as you start to wake up get yourself situated or just um, release that anxiety from your situation if you're empathic make sure you're cleansing right from the beginning of the day okay but naturally we make our way to the second quarter and we have healing okay healing your presence is bold they're saying you are bold you are bold um, it's like once you release that anxiety once you sort of uh, wake up or get your day going or just feel a bit more accomplished and focus on the positives there's something bold and, and um, still graceful and elegant about you. Um, you're healing through um, all the BS that you went through. With a chariot coming out, you could um, find yourself picking up a random level of motivation. You're being pushed to recognize that you need to heal before something begins, okay? 
Um, it feels like you started something new and then there's either a new job, a new project, hobby, it could be a new connection on the horizon and you need to heal before you hop on your chariot and go after it, okay? Um, they're saying be the bear in your life. Be the bear in your life. Um, approachable but bold, okay? Um, there's a lot of um, energy that will help you heal in the second quarter, even if you can't sort of recognize that in the moment. Um, you're going to be pushed to prep oneself for a more elegant um, couple of weeks ahead. Okay, interesting. As we were talking about elegant energy, I thought we were going to say um, royal weeks ahead, but they're saying elegant. Okay, um, six of pentacles coming out for expansion. And so it's the third quarter of the day, the beginning of the second half, where you're pushed to expand oneself. You're given a gift of abundance. Um, a level of truth, clarity, and potentially an opportunity um, outside of all of which to expand oneself and see your situation move forward. Um, if you're looking for a new job, it's happening in the upcoming week. Okay, beautiful. If you're looking for a new advancement for your business or both, it's happening in the upcoming weeks. I just feel like you could uh, be pushed to expand yourself by being completely honest with yourself once again um, as to how to make best out of certain levels of protection, okay? Um, how to make the best out of the summer ahead or the season ahead, depending on where you live, as I am looking at the summer card. Um, being pushed to understand that you can make whatever you desire your reality and therefore being one with the abundance the universe is providing you um, within a situation that isn't perfect, but could be a lot worse, okay? We have letting go here. And so making our way to wrap up the day, we have the Knight of Swords, the Nine of Swords, okay? The Knight of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. And so you are pushed to recognize that in order to go after what you desire, you need to let go of what you just went through. You need to let go of the past. It could even be something popping back up in one way, shape, or form due to memories, nostalgia, um, uh, deja vu potentially, let it go. It's like a test from the universe to uh, see if you're ready for what you truly desire moving forward. Let go of the stress, the difficulties, so you can, in a free way, run towards um, what's right for you, what will feel better, healthier, lighter, okay? More freeing. Um, and you're going to sense a level of freedom in your situation, even at the end of this day, just simply by letting it go in one's mind, heart, and soul. And I feel like it's the end of the day or just the day in general that gives you this Knight of Pentacles feeling where things move slowly, um, but you're noticed. If you produced work throughout this day for your job um, or your business, you're in the spotlight. People are noticing you, especially if you're on social media. People are just praising you, seeing you as talented, wanting to know how you do what you do or why, okay? People accepting and liking the mystery about you even if once upon a time it felt as if that didn't help you, okay? People like that you're not a complete open book because they feel like the ones you're dealing with throughout this day, or at least some of which, um, are somewhat like that themselves. You're being realigned, um, aligned in general with people who um, get you or are more like you, even if they're not fully your type or just... 100% in the same chapter on the same path as you. Does that make sense? Um, the number 88 coming out here. Um, things starting to move quickly as far as communication goes, but the pace at the end of the day is very chill. Um, being pushed to recognize the hard work you've been putting in and will moving forward is paying off. Um, you're going to see your workload uh, quadruple in the upcoming weeks. So let this time when you can heal and take a deep breath and let go and uh, prep for certain expansions to heal oneself and to prep you for all that lies ahead. It's a month that's going to be busy. Uh, do prepare for that and expect that. But it's one where you're going to feel quite refreshed in a lot of ways. You're going to feel like you let go of certain burdens or are doing so at the beginning of the month. Um, being pushed to recognize that we're putting an end to the heartbreak putting an end to the difficulties, okay? Putting an end to people wanting to uh, walk all over you, okay? And so it's a chapter, a beginning of which, at the beginning of this month, this Tuesday, that reminds you, yeah, you've been through a lot, 
but you're beginning again and you deserve that chance, that opportunity. So embrace it to the fullest, all right? So I hope this reading was truly helpful. Wow, we have the Two of Cups underlining uh, focus. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I hope you have an amazing Tuesday, and I'll definitely see you next time. Bye.